It's training day one, and these service members are already off to a good start. Uh, what was going on, we had the, uh, the Georgians and the Marines kind of uh, co-working together. Uh, we're trying to break the ice with the uh, language barrier, getting that competition, getting our fire up. It was a great time, and I think the Georgians learned a lot, and we learned a lot from them. The concept of winning seemed universal because it didn't take long for the U.S. Marines and Georgian soldiers to come together and get the task done. Here, put these in. Uh, they're putting the 81 millimeter mortar system, uh, what it was called mount. Uh, it's what we do when we have our, our gun system completely disassembled. Uh, disassembled. We take that and run to the gun line and assemble that up, get the guns up, and we're able to fire uh, missions from there. They're going to get their weapon systems now. We're going to learn on their weapon systems. We'll probably do a little training with that. And then they, uh, they challenged us uh, their weapon system versus our weapon, weapon system, so we were looking forward to that. Agile Spirit 2011 isn't all fun and games, though. They spent hours of their first day training each other on different weapons. The Georgians brought their PKMs, and we have our M240s and our uh, M250 cals. We've got eight good days of training ahead of us, and I think that uh, the end state is, is building a solid relationship. A solid relationship that plays a vital role when U.S. Marines and Georgian soldiers are working side by side downrange. Air Force Sergeant Tiffany Gordon, Tbilisi, Georgia.